Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another RMV tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn how to make cloth within 3ds Max. Uh, it's a little different from the last video if you remember we did the clothing from Marvelous Designer but in today's we're going to do it within 3ds Max. It's going to be a little bit long process there's a few things that um, I like about 3ds Max more than I can do with uh, Marvelous Designer that we can actually modify the uh, texture and also the polygons which is the dress like you sculpt on it after you made it so let's go with that jumping ahead let's go ahead and start make sure first you open up the female animation waiting pose master and let's go ahead and take the glasses off and first thing we need to do now is to select everything make sure to set to be all and left click and drag over the entire avatar all these you know keyframes we need to take them out so let's go ahead and from the end of the timeline left click and drag over all of them and hit delete now if you scroll your timeline there shouldn't be any animation applied which is what we need so now we'll go let's go ahead and set up our viewport let's go choose this left and it's going to be the top and it's going to be the front and this is going to be perspective let's keep this on realistic just for now so it doesn't really matter what we do so we're going to be using the front so let's go ahead and we can do this for now by maximize the viewport of the front hit j in your keyboard to turn off the grid and now let's go ahead and make sure first select this body part what we're going to do is we're going to make a small shirt so we need the top let's go and make sure we need the top and the pelvis hold on control while selecting and then right click and go for object properties and make sure to turn off show frozen and gray and let's go ahead and hit okay now let's go ahead and right click and hit uh freeze selection and then everything else right click and select the entire thing right click and make sure this set to be height selection now get a closer look here back to where it says wireframe and make sure to turn on grid for now so actually we gotta turn off grid because it's just distracting okay so we're gonna go ahead to create and we're going to choose shapes and from shapes we're going to choose line then we're going to start clicking with the left click we're going to draw our shirt so let's go ahead and do here one and just try to get the best that we can make hold on shift while you select to give you like a straight line let's go ahead and do this and it doesn't really have to be perfect because we still get to modify that after we simulate everything and right where the neck is if you go down here and you select and left click and hold it and drag the the mouse it's gonna draw like a curve and once you release it it's gonna draw that line like that so let's go ahead and do this one more time here and close the spline it will ask you there's a pop-up gonna say close spline say yes now it doesn't look right let's go ahead and choose vertices and here from these green handles you go ahead and start to move things around let me see why it's not going uh, let me see okay so you try to adjust it as much as you possibly can and maybe that looks a lot better so we have done one side here it's gonna work exactly the same like we did in Marvelous Designer. Let's first take this down a little bit. Okay. You can possibly do this by going hold on shift and drag to make another face. And make sure to set okay. And before we do, we can also make sure to set to be copy. When you hold on shift and drag, this may has to be this set to be copy 
And now let's go ahead and select this vertices. Make sure it's vertices selected. And here, hit backspace. If it's not working, hit delete. Now we have a straight line. Let's go ahead and adjust this a little bit. Okay. So now we have to the you know the front and back of the shirt. All you have to do now is select one side and make sure to set attach to the other one. Now both of them are selected. All you have to do now is just go ahead and make sure to set spline. While this selected, make sure to set exactly to be in the same spot. And which it is. Let's go ahead and turn off this for now. And we can go ahead and add on the top of this now. Go for the modifier list and add garment maker, which is going to be garment maker. Apply. Notice now it turns the splines into actual geometry. If I ever move this to front, it actually closed this in for geometry, which is what we want. What we want, and the way we set up our uh, front and back patterns, it'll match. So to do that now, what you need to do is go ahead under Mark Garment Maker, go ahead and make sure choose panels. Uh, I'm sorry, let me see it's themes. It's probably this. Yeah, under panels. Select this one side here. Go ahead and lift and from the X axis, shift this to, to match exactly here. And then let's go ahead from the lift view. Let's maximize the left view again. Make sure this is also set to be edge faces. Drag it back to kind of be away from the from the butt area. Let's go back into here and right click let's see if i can see this here okay if it's not here you can do go ahead and turn snap toggle on and make sure angle snap and make sure for the rotate and rotate this 360 degrees until you see the light red outside like you see here if it doesn't really look right all you have to do now is just keep rotating this until you get like a 90 degrees angle which it has to be the lighter part, the white outside, the darker part, the black one here, and the black one there is inside, pointing inside. Now, while you have these two selected, let's go ahead and get from perspective now, and back into theme. And here, all you have to do, there's one point that I actually forgot to do. Let's go ahead and delete this for a second. Okay, because I forgot to tell you that we have to break our uh, vertices. So to do that, delete, make sure the line, which is the two lines modifier selected, left click, drag over all of them, and come back here, which says break. What that does, between every vertices, it makes some sort of a spline, which is going to be easy for us when we sew the parts together let's go ahead and turn off that now let's go ahead and add a garment maker again and let's go ahead and do under panel check this one here hold on shift drag it and also take it this to the back and let's go ahead and rotate this again Okay, it doesn't always working, so you can just readjust that. Or while you're looking here, you can see that if it's if it's straight line, it shouldn't. There's gonna be like a thin line like that. Okay, so now if you go back into theme and you select one edge, notice what happened. This is gonna be one edge. Right, hold on Control and select the other edge. And go ahead and create theme. Notice here it draw lines like the one you saw before in Marvelous Designer, meaning that this edge here will be sued to that one. Just go ahead and continue with the rest, and select this one edge here, that one. Create theme, 
and this one here, that one. And you can always remember that when you select to one edge, hold that control and select the other edge. And it's going to continue more. Okay. So here we have already sewed all, all parts together. What do we need to do left? Okay, first of all, there's something that I wanted to tell you in case that happened with you. If you ever seen these parts here, let me just show you that. Okay, if you, while you're selecting parts and sewing them together, if this has happened to you, that you see lines, you know, upside down or cross like that, all you have to do is select them and make sure reverse is applied to it. That way, it's going to give you a straight line. Okay, now in the top of this modifier, which is a garment maker, we will apply something called cloth modifier. And here you're gonna go under cloth modifier, but before we do, go ahead and first thing first, let's rename our shirt. We'll call this shirt. And while we're here, we're gonna go ahead object properties. Make sure to select the shirt and cloth, and we can add. I like to use the presets, but in case the simulation doesn't work out for you and you want to play around with these settings, you can always experience with these. But from my experience in the past, you can always use the uh, the presets. Default one works just well, and as well as uh, heavy leather, something like bolster, something like you know slick. But slick probably sometimes gonna work really bad and might you might end up having you know geometry all over the place. So the one that worked the best is the default and cotton as well as uh, heavy leather. So for today I will use just the default one and I'll come here, make sure this drag volume and cap holes both are selected, and add an object. Like now if we ever let me close this for now. If we simulate these two together now, these will suit together, but they will fall down to the floor. The reason why is because there's nothing that they can be collided with. So for this, we need to select the body part, the top, and the pelvis to be a collision part. So to do that, right-click first and unfreeze all. Let's go back into cloth, object properties again, and add. Notice here this is showing up, so look these two together, add, and while these two are highlighted, go ahead and choose collision object. And let's go ahead and hit OK. Now if you ever, let's go back for theme, see if I make sure, okay everything looks good. And back for cloth. And first thing first, you need to go ahead and self collision. Turn this to be maybe two. And for now, let's go ahead and turn off use some springs. Make sure this turn off. For some reason, it doesn't really make the simulation work properly. And let's go ahead and hit simulate. Okay, I must have forgot to make the shirt in cloth. Okay. Yeah, if this ever happened to you, it means you haven't select the shirt and choose what presets for it, and it was saying inactive. So let's go ahead and choose uh, default and make sure cap holes for both are selected as well. Let's go ahead and simulate. Now we can tell everything takes place on the top. And make sure if ever you see that the amount of frames here it's too short for the simulation to be completed, which is might be a problem for me. And okay, let's go ahead and stop this first. Notice this shirt is going way down than it should be. The reason why is the gravity here. Minus gravity, like the minus 980, this is so much for a simulation for cloth. So let's go ahead and make this maybe something like 200. And also come back to where it says object properties here, select the shirt, and the thickness here we can just go ahead and add this point 
3. Let's go ahead and OK. And let's go ahead and reset our simulation by erase simulation. If it's still showing like that, you can always reset state. If it's not really working, let's go ahead. You can first do ahead simulate local and see how this is going to work. Looks pretty good. You can tell now that the way that this thing was draping and pulling down is not happening. Let's go ahead and stop simulate local and go in for simulation now. And for some reason, the other shoulder is just going so far. I don't like it that way. Or we can just keep the simulation going and see how it's going to go. So as you can see, the shirt is taking the shape of the body. And it's going really well, like it's expanding in areas and areas not. Well, I just start taking a good shape here. Perfect. Now, there's a few ways that we can fix the geometry here. If we want it, if this is okay for us, you can always go and fix things around when in Photoshop than you can do in Marvelous Designer and this is what I like so let's say I'm happy about this so far all I have to do is gonna go ahead and right click here collapse to right click again collapse to editable poly and here is the next step that will probably the tool is why I love 3s max in case you don't see this kind of uh, toolbar all you have to do is go ahead and choose customize show UI and show ribbon okay now see how all these gaps can have become a part of the of the shirt to fix that all you have to go is go free form and let me see why it's not opening let's see I must have hid it, I guess. Show the panel button. Okay. Let's see, there's something really here that I don't understand why it disappears. Okay, gonna have to pause the video and I'll come back to you guys as soon as I figure out what's going on here. Okay, so I did figure out what I supposed to do. I have to select the shirt and then come back where it says free form and then come back where it says paint deform. And here we have a few sets of brushes that we can use, which is pretty amazing. Here push and pull that gonna get the shirt off the body. And we have relax, which is going to smooth everything out. And we can have a smug or flatten, which is also going to be sometimes going to be very useful for us to use. But for now, to fix all these gaps, we're going to be using the push and pull. And once you left click that once, notice here it starts to show you this box. This is how the brush size with the size here, and the strength, and the offset. Offset is how far. It's gonna pull the cloth off the body. So for this, I do want it to use a lower value of two, and the strength is gonna be just one. Here, I might want to use a bigger range, so I might have to go for something like 50. 50. If it's big, we can still, you know, adjust that. So let's go ahead and start now to move everything off. Notice here, it's gonna be pulling. All you have to do is like lift, click, and drag not too special and then this is this tool here it's not possible for you at um, marvelous designer so which is makes 3ds max a lot easier to kind of edit and model somebody's cloth especially with something with the high density so let's go ahead and keep adding 
and pulling this shirt off and oops I did accidentally move everything away let's go back into being brush and then Every time you see something that is going through, make sure to take it out. And we are almost there. I mean, it's a lot easier to do that here than you can do this in, 3D, in uh, Marvelous Designer. Because in Marvelous Designer, you're going to have to push and pull and, you know, by the cursor. Which is going to be very pain in the ass if you want to do it. But then here it's a lot easier just to brush you just move it around the shirt and let's go ahead and make sure to turn off that so we can see there's a few here few gaps here and there and then here as well you don't really have to worry about these ones that going far away from the shirt Mm, for some reason, these should really be that far from the shirt. Not sure what happened. And they will definitely look bad if you keep doing that. We'll try to fix them with, you like, welding. Let's see if I can do that. And I'm going to go ahead and choose weld. And yeah, let's go ahead and choose if I... It actually going so well, it took all most of the vertices out. You can tell here. That's pretty good. Oh, we still have more here. There we go. So, it, this is something really easy you can fix by just going over every part of the shirt and make sure everything is well together. Okay. And that looks pretty good so far. So let's go ahead back into where it says paint and push and pull. And maybe we can get. Come on, man. Yeah, this annoying thing start appearing sometimes. Okay. Making the edge faces and. I think this shirt is almost ready. We might want to just do a little smoothing here because everything is kind of stretched out. So let's go ahead and back into paint and let's go ahead. And, you can also use shift to do that. So to do fix that, come back here and choose relax. And again, here in the strength, I might want to use something like very low value. Something like maybe 0 0.1. And you can even tell when I do that, it start to getting things inside again. But I'm just going to do like a little smooth here and there. And then back again to where it says push. And started getting everything back in place. The idea is to keep everything as far as you can off the body. The reason why, because when you skin everything together in 3ds Max, and you take it back to Iron View, if the avatar for some reason moves, the skin will get through the shirt, and you actually don't want that to happen. So there is a gap here that I'm not sure if I can fix it, but we can try some other tool called uh smudge well, let's see if i can take that out it's going well but it's not that well because it keep opening parts of the other shirt again the reason why because the geometry was not really good enough to kind of fill all these gaps you can always use the brush size, but I'll take this down to maybe 10. 
let's see if I can move this out the strength here I might want to take this to be one okay Manipulating actually the view is what really problem here because it will take you some time until you kind of figure out and Again it just for the sake of learning But if this is something that you want to get you know to submit make sure to get it perfect as you can possibly can There's again another part here. I'm not sure why is the Smudge is like really taking everything inside. Let's see if I can find pinch and push and pull again and see how can we fix that. Size we can take this to be 20. That helped a little bit. And let's go ahead and try to see here. Again, some of these actually going to be inside the, the body part. And the only reason uh, we probably have is that we should have really expand the geometry to kind of make it a little bit more dense than it really is now. Hold on shift to while you're brushing, they're going to smooth things out. But be careful not really to push that all the way in. As you can see, it takes some of these parts of the shirt inside of the body again. And I, st I do see some parts of the body going through the shirt you may not really notice it because the shirt is black but there's lines here and there that I see that all of them from the actual body here that going through uh, I think everything looks pretty good and you can see even wrinkles here which is really cool Okay, I think that's that's good enough for me. Again, holding shift to get a smooth everything out. And you can always go back and see what you did if something go in the body part, make sure to fix it before you move on to waiting or skinning. And pretty much everything looks good here. I might want to just smooth this a little bit out. Hmm. Yeah, it's not helping with the arm area. Not sure why. Okay. So, that's not really bad at all for 3 ds Max. And what we need to do now is to get to unwrap. Remember how we set up our uh, lines earlier today? We will begin the tutorial. That's exactly how the UV map is going to be set up for us. So to know or see how how we did that, let's go ahead and select the shirt. Go ahead for UV map and open it. Exactly, exactly like how we set it before. Right here, you may want to have just pull this up a little bit. And right here, we can go ahead from for options, preferences, we can go ahead and choose the height for 512. And we can keep the width at the same at the same 256. Hit OK. It will look really squeezed in and all that, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and choose polygons here. Left click and make sure this is set. Okay, let's go return. We can squeeze this in a little bit just to give us a little bit of a... Uh, you know what, I might want to have to turn this back to where it says 
256 by 256 square kind of geometry here will look just perfect let's go ahead and undo what we did before and always remember to keep a little bit of a distance here and there from each side it doesn't always have to be right on the edge and now what you need to do is go ahead and save or bake your uh, UV map by going to tools render and here you're gonna go ahead 256 or 256 and hit render let's go ahead and save it that's the folder let's go ahead and go up we can call this iron view max shirt let's go ahead and save it as a JPEG 256 by 256 map save it let's go ahead and close this now right click here and collapse all now remember when earlier when we took all the animation out of the avatar if we ever wanted to select this again, then we will have a problem with it because there's no actual animation, so we cannot really tell if the actual shirt is going to go through the skin or not. So, to do that, you're going to go ahead and right click and hide and unhide everything again. Hide the shirt by itself and get everything and delete. Right click, unhide. Now we only have this shirt left, and that's what we need just for now. Let's go ahead and save this as. So let's go ahead and save as, and we can choose the shirt. What's that here? Go ahead and save. So I accidentally save on my previous um, folder, which is the original one. So what I might want to do is I'll pause the video and I'll get the original one back in the folder and we'll proceed from there so now after we save the shirt let's go ahead and reset our scene and i'm going to open the folder which is i might have on the desktop and it's going to be here hmm. let's see which one that i got Okay, here it is. All right, so go back into realistic and get rid of the glasses. Gonna import. And now we're gonna go back to the desktop again and choose the folder. And I'm gonna go back into where I save it. Actually, let me see. Okay, so I'm going to go back in and choose the import highlighted here and choose the merge, actually not import. So I'm going to go back into desktop, iron view, and right here, and the shirt. All I have to do is left click and select it or choose all. Hit OK. It will come right on the top. Go back and choose edge faces. Now if I move the timeline, there is an actual animation this time applied. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, so there's a couple things that you want to do first. You may want to have skin applied to this or physique. So we're going to do skin while the shirt is selected for the modifier list. Go ahead and add skin. And here we can actually choose the bones that we want to have, which is I'm sure is going to be spine. Should we go and select the bones here? It's going to be spine one, two, spine four, shoulders, I think, and calf. Okay. So let's back in here and choose the shirt and add bones. So let's go ahead and choose from the very top here what we have to spine four, to spine one, and shoulder. 
hold control every time you select you know to add more to your selection and we need the hip uh, let me see I think we need the thighs as well so let's go to make sure we've got them all and for no here calf and I didn't see the shoulders hmm shoulders oh right here okay so we're back in for uh, let's see thigh shoulder hip and calf and there must be one more shoulder I think all oh, got it okay so see one two three four one two three four okay I think that's all of it right now if you did move the timeline it, you're gonna see that things follow apart but not all of it but especially if you go in that position here notice how the shirt goes in the body so to fix that we're gonna be using something called waiting uh, paint waiting which is gonna be here or paint weights so what you need to do is gonna go under skin choose envelopes and go right here with his vertices let's go ahead and choose you now you'll see this paint weights start to show open it and go ahead and choose that do a box next to it and here is going to be something like exactly what we did with the painting from the form but this here control the weights and we always want this to be a one and keep in mind if this is set to be one this is has to be turned on or checked meaning every time these this is checked and this is set to be one whatever geometry you're going to be selecting is going to be pushed out but if you said you want something to be pushed in which is in our case here we really need it but in case you want something to be pushed in this has to be set to be 0 0.2 and this is unchecked so let's go ahead and back into this one and here let me just make sure everything is proper shoulder here we got shoulder we got hip we got hip and calf thigh first and then here calf and good perfect now let's go ahead and just move the first thing I like to start first with the shoulders all the way to the very end if something really is still missing we're gonna go ahead and fix that so here if you look at this we still have a gap here so to select that from the top from these list here go ahead and make sure to select the shoulder or the calf okay go ahead and get a very closer look at this hold on shift and all together we'll change the strength of the brush which is we don't really need but holding control let me see control and shift will change the brush size which is what we need to choose to actually use a lot more than the strength so we're gonna go ahead and change the strength back to one and start to paint let's see if I hold it's not going much the reason why we probably have okay this is checked It's good if I turn off this to be 0 0.2 and see how it's gonna go. Yeah, it's not doing much still. Gonna choose one. Oh, I forgot to also tell you guys here you have to select everything and make sure it's set to be that kind of curve here. That's what I need to do. If you need to first do that, left click and drag over the keyframes in each side. And make sure to set it to that curve, which is going to give us that kind of um, flexibility when we when we make the uh, weighting. So let's go ahead and try that now. 
I I'm not sure why it's not really shown. Let's go ahead and try maybe the shoulders. Set to be zero out. So let's go ahead and see. I don't think I have to select the actual vertices. So let's go ahead and see why it's not working. How about spine one? Which is spine four? Okay, so we have to change this to kind of match was what we needed to. Let's go ahead and see. Now we this this is go in the party parts to go ahead and spine three or four, and we're gonna change this to be zero point two, and we're gonna go down here and turn off that and start to take these parts out again. Go ahead and do the same thing to spine three. Actually, we need this to be weighted to spine two more. Or actually, four. Maybe spine four. So let's go ahead and make sure this is set to be one. Okay. That's kind of weird. It's going straight to the head. I don't know why, even though we don't have the actual head here. But what if we go for the shoulders? It's not really going to do much. And not even here. Also make sure to turn off the back face. That way, yeah, there's something really not right about this. So the way to fix my problem here with scanning is to make sure the vertices is turned off. And let me scroll the timeline here. I only have a few problems here and there. You can tell if I move it to here, right where the chest area, there is some poking through the shirt. So to fix that, let's go ahead and choose maybe the spine three. And let's go ahead and do this again. Make sure this is turned on, paint blend weights. And hold on shift and control together to reside the brush. And make sure you pull your, your mouse up and down. Let's go ahead and try to see if we can fix that here. If it's not doing, you know, any, if it's not moving a lot, which is, it does really bad, you can look here. But it's kind of a slow process. Try to change the spine or the bone selection. So if it's not doing with this one, let's go with the four. It's still not doing much. Okay, let me see if I can go. Sometimes it takes time to practice. But it's always a good idea to start using blending because it's much easier to kind of use... Uh, for the skin, especially with cloth with with the high density luck we have here. So let's see if I can get to think shoulders. Yeah, for some reason it's still not working. Let's go ahead and change this again to 0 0.2. And you know what? We can just change this to be one again and turn off that and see how it's gonna happen. Uh spine three. Yeah, okay. So this actually to turn the smooth on, but let's go ahead and continue without this one also might need to, I might need to resize my brush again, scale it down. Okay. So let's go ahead. If you if this is really bothering you, we can go down here and let me see the display. You can turn off. Show no envelopes. That way, just selecting the body, the this like the bone, you can see the selected, and from there you can go ahead and continue uh, with the scanning part. So we're gonna go ahead and move down a little bit for the spine too, and continue here as well as this. Okay, and 
he keeps scrolling, you know, from the timeline until you see a problem again. So for this, I might want to use the upper and just try to get as much as I can covered up. Maybe this one here. So let's continue a little more. I actually impressed because it turned out to be oh we got some poking really big time here. So let's go ahead and continue with I think gonna be spine four and cover some of these areas. Like paint with the brush like that is just really easy and it'll save you a lot of time. Let's go ahead for the shoulder, I think with the left shoulder. Then cover areas here and there. If there's something go crazy like that, you may want to actually take this to maybe 0.5 as, it, as the intensity and start to paint over it. Let's go also for the calf and see. Not much. Let's go. If you see any going through like that, go ahead and undo what you did with Control Z. Okay, let's back into shoulder again. Let's go for set this to be back to one. So again, that takes a lot of time to practice, so you have to be very patient with it. And every mistake you, you do, try to fix it before you move on to the next frame. Let's go back into spine three. And if in case you see some poking through and you're still not really able to do it with one with one bone, try to select the other one. Okay, let's go three. No, oh, maybe two. Okay, maybe this one needs to be that turned on and just go back into 0 0.2. Let's go back in here to spine three. Okay, it did cover a part, but the other one not. So go ahead and hold the shift and control together to scale it down. Maybe I have to go for the shoulders. No. Okay, maybe spine three. I mean, the main reason here I'm doing this is because I don't want to take any part of her body off like we did in the last tutorial. So that way you can actually use it for if the, sh the shirt, you know, the shirt have like any see-through parts. That way you can be able to do it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to pause the video and make sure that everything is covered up through the timeline and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done. So I did most of the waiting and painting part, but I still have a few issues here and there. Like if you know to see there's some poking here and there. So to fix that manually, you have to go back into edge faces and from here you start to go back in and choose vertices and make sure to close this now and as well as here and we're going to use something called weight table or let's just make it a lot easier for you we're going to use weight tools this one here and basically here you're going to select each vertices that you see it's spoken through and you start to have this weighting thing manually so let's say I have one, and also make sure to right click here with a snap toggle on, and make sure this is checked to be vertices. So let's go ahead and turn this back on. And you notice that the, the mouse is going to snap to actual vertices, and here it will tell you how much weight this is going to be, uh, have, like this is had like 100% for the calf. So let's go ahead and try to fix that. I'm going to go here, which says the left. And from here, you can go ahead and decrease or increase the amount of, uh, of weight. 
we can also use one of these presets. So let's go ahead and fix and see if we, what we can do here. Maybe I should have maybe a little more for the shoulders. Notice it snaps off, but let's go turn it back. And we want probably to, oh, we forgot to have this here. Maybe if we select it to spine four. If you select any bone here, it doesn't exist here and you add weight to it, it will actually show up here. So let's go ahead and increase the weight a little bit. There you go. So now it's going to align with this. And we have one here. And I'm not sure what it is. Let's go ahead now, add a little more weight to this, no, spine 4. You can always take this back into maybe 0 0.2 for the best results. And, okay, let's go back. And you can also take weight out of it. By, by hitting D minus and maybe we can select this one and see if we can add a little more weight to it that shouldn't really have any sort of weight for the right shoulder there we go kind of change this position a little bit but you can see in the back it's kind of mass, so you have to do this kind of manually. Maybe we got one here too that we need to change. What if you don't see the vertices? Make sure you select the wireframe so you can see it. And I'm selecting this one here. And for this one, I think I have to go to spine four and add more weight. Okay, there we go, it's covered up. And also go to check this one here. You can add a little more weight to it for the spine four. There we go. And choose this one here. They're going to be the cow, which is right here. Add a little more weight. It's actually set to be 100%. So let's go ahead and make sure maybe we'll add for this one. Or we can choose spine four. Okay, there we go. You can also choose it for spine four, spine four as well. There we go. So doing this manually probably will be the best, especially after you do a lot of uh, weight painting but you still have to go and look through each one of these vertices and try to fix it. So let's go ahead and try to fix that one here that was poking out from the back. This one has to do, I think, with the other shoulder. Okay, if it's not doing, then probably this. There we go. Same thing here. You can even move this to the side just to be closer to, to what you do. Okay, so we're taking a lot of, uh, of that mess that we did before with the painting into this. Alright, we're cleaning things up. selecting you have to make sure the vertices is kind of squared that mean this one has been highlighted and you're not working any other vertices okay thing has become a lot better and again we get I'm probably gonna have to do another video for weight paint and how this work you know with uh, with the weighting tool but this is going to be just a good start, you know, because I never really worked on weight painting before. 
so this is probably going to be my first video but later on I'll be able to explain a lot more on how to actually get the way to paint the best results you can get okay that one's set to be 100 let's go ahead and choose that one here it should give us something no it's not really okay let's go ahead and try that again oh because actually you shouldn't be checking here you should be choosing the spline the bones from here so let's go ahead and choose let's see shoulder we did the shoulder let's try again the shoulder you can see even start to hide things around let's go for this one here and see if it's gonna go it's set to be 100 so we might go for spine 4 and add a little more weight there we go go one more here and add okay we should have actually chosen the vertices which is I'm sure it's there backhand to the shoulder maybe shoulder here we got not much in it so let's try and see if, it, if the shoulder gotta make it work no how about that one here there we go you can tell it when when the vertices snaps back out and that's what we want there's a couple here that we miss so I think it's probably this one here and let's see there we go and we have one that went way down in the body which is right here and let's go back into realistic I think this one gonna go with the spine four like we have here and maybe we can push this a little more so yeah it takes a lot of practice to kind of get this right but it's a lot because it's worth it and Basically here, once you've done the shirt the way you want it, you don't have to delete any parts of the body, and it will always just stick there because after you're done, everything should be locked. So it doesn't matter how far the avatar gonna be moving, everything gonna remain at her body, and nothing should be poking through. So again, I'll have to pause the video because it's gonna be a long process, and uh, once I'm done with everything, I'll come back to you. So, I actually have finished pretty much every part of the scanning here. And just to let you know that you can always switch from weighting tools to the painting weights. Um, one last thing, in case you have still poking inside the shirt. And I wish I could have, okay, for example here. If I go up for the spine 4 and I try to add weights to it. If it's still showing that this part is going even deeper in the skin, you can also change this to be minus one and try to take it. They're going to be pulling the geometry out. For example, let's see if I can go for the here. Notice that if I change this, T is going through and it just said minus. So let's go ahead and change this to be one and try to do the painting again. And here it will start doing parts. To pulling the shirt out. If it's still showing something like that, let's try to go ahead and to shoulder maybe. Still showing a minus one. And choose here one again. Oops. Let's go ahead and do what I just did here. Let me see if I can. Let's 
think minus one will probably work. Okay. I think it has to be minus one. I think I have to take this back in. And let's see. It is still pushing things inside. It's going to minus one and try that. Minus spine four, spine three. So yeah, it takes a lot of time to practice and try to you know to get the perfect results. But if I showed you the whole shirt, let's go ahead and just get this to the side here. If I ever play the timeline, you can tell that is the mo the poking is like way too less than it used to be. Let me also make sure this is set to be off. So only a few things left to be retouched. But other than that, you can always, you know, go back in and fix what you have done. And it takes, like I said, painting is probably the easiest tool to skinning, but it takes a lot of time and effort to get the perfect results. And it just worked fine to actually not taking any parts out of the shirt or the body. Let's go ahead and try to fix that here by the hip, I think. Where is it? And take this back here. Set it to be one. And make sure paint weights is on. Let's try now. See this area here? Even though it started to paint it, but it's not going off the skin. So I'm going to try to be minus one. Let's go ahead and try that. Okay. Go back into one again. But I'm trying to undo what I did and then go back to the sit for the thigh. Let's see if I can add more weights to that. It's still not going. Maybe a minus one will do. Not much really, but let's go ahead and try maybe spine one. So yeah, in case this something like that happened in just a little tiny area can go ahead and turn off the paint weights and start to have the weighting tools and make sure to go in and change the edge faces and see where this uh, vertices is and then go ahead and change it this is all the way down here maybe that's what I was missing and again make sure this is on and select this vertices And also go up here, make sure vertices turned on. Okay, now this is going very far. Let's see if I can fix that. So for the thigh, spine one, let's go ahead and take this to be zero. And thighs, go for that to be zero as well. Here, bounce back. Let's go in and change this. Again, for the thigh, set this to be zero. Again, this here is zero. Let's go back and look at it. You know, it's pretty much fixed. So the other areas and parts of the of the uh, shirts, especially the ones that go in so crazy, like here, all this need to be fixed. Make sure to do that. Let's go ahead and set this to be zero again. 
And by default, you can tell that things start going back in the shirt like it would normally. It's like save you a lot of time, especially with these presets. And. And we're almost there, I think. I mean, we have a few things left in here. But we can always try to go back and make sure that every work is perfectly done and get to submit it after that. So for the sake of the video, um, I think that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I do apologize for taking kind of long time this, for this tutorial because I'm kind of sick and uh, making this tutorial especially with painting which is I haven't really done for quite some time so I'm still learning everything about painting and uh, hopefully it was a lot easier for you guys to get to that kind of results and in case you still wanted to do like a lot more skinning there's two videos that I posted uh, in the past you can always go and check them out there's like three different parts of skinning you can do and we still have more to come and after that after you get your shirt done hopefully it'll look a lot better when you get to export it and uh yeah that's it i hope you guys this was very helpful and i'll see you guys in my next video